and welcome to Shepherd Talks. This is our Tier 3 Showcase. It's one of our favorite events of the year. We are streaming live on YouTube for the world to see, and we have a studio audience here uh, in the Shepherd LC. Wave at the uh, camera for those who are interested. Hello, yes. All right. Mrs. Ball, this is such a, an exciting time. What are students going to be presenting about today? It's a wonderful day today to talk about grit, talking about how we push through difficult times and challenges using perseverance and we never give up. And no better uh, a group of individuals to do this than our sixth graders here at Shepherd today. So without further ado, we would love to introduce our first speaker who will be Oren Gill. Let's have a round of applause for Oren. Angela Duckworth once stated, Great is living life like it's a marathon, not a sprint. One time when I was about four or five, five or six years ago, I went to a beach with my family. Now, I didn't swim, I didn't go on boats, even kayaks terrified me. But there was one reason for why I hated all this water. It's because I couldn't swim. Now, how many of you guys were scared to swim at first? I would only go into the water if I was being carried by my dad or by my mom. I couldn't even tread water. Whenever I got into the water at a pool or a beach, I'd just stand in the shallow part and watch. But this one time I went to the beach, I wanted to play in the water with my sisters, my dad, and my mom. But I didn't do anything about it. Then my parents gave me an offer I couldn't resist. Ice cream. So my dad took me to the parts where I couldn't stand on his shoulders. My mom followed too. We went to where my sisters were swimming. My mom went and stood in front of my dad, and then I looked at her, and I hoped she would apologize later. I strapped my goggles on, took a deep breath, and then pushed off of my dad and swam to my mom. I wasn't doing a specific stroke unless waving their arms and kicking in random directions is a stroke, but I got from my dad to my mom. Eventually, I even swam all the way back to the shore. I swam, and I got my ice cream. That took one thing to do, grit. Now, there are more ways to show grit. I mean, how many of you guys fell down and got up even if you were experiencing a lot of pain? I mean, I can name the time I rode my bike into a tree, and then I kept riding after that, but that would take too much time. Okay, back to grit. So if you look grit up on Google, it'll say courage and resolve through strength of character. In my words, grit is more than just having strength. Grit is not giving up and sticking to something for a long period of time. Grit is one of the most important things in life because it helps you accomplish anything. If you don't have grit, you probably give up easily and then you probably won't accomplish much. Grit influences success through hard work and not giving up. Grit can be shown by taking risks and persevering. Richard Branson showed grit by persevering through his failing grades and dyslexia to become one of the world's most successful people. Ray Charles showed grit by persevering through his disability to become a world-renowned singer. Goethe from A Night Divided showed grit by not letting the Berlin Wall stop her from getting her family reunited. Richard Branson is a British entrepreneur. Despite having dyslexia, he still went on to become one of the world's first people to fly his own aircraft into space. Goethe from A Night Divided by Jennifer A. Nielsen wasn't only a girl living in the confined section of East Berlin, she was a hero living there. Ray Charles is one of the world's most successful singers, and even though he's blind, that didn't stop him from being anything less than he could be. His message of not giving up and perseverance lives on to till today. In the words of Richard Branson, do not be embarrassed by your failures. Learn from them and start again. Grit can't only be shown by giving yourself challenges and facing challenges. It can be shown by giving yourself goals and overcoming them. Richard Branson is a British entrepreneur. Even though he has dyslexia, he's still one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs and successful people. In the book, Who is Richard Branson? by Michael Bergen, Richard Branson goes to a beach with his family. He makes a bet with his aunt for $2 if he learns how to swim by the end of the trip. By the end of the trip, he still didn't learn how to swim. But then his aunt gave him one last try. In the book, it says, Ricky wasn't ready to give up. He wanted to win the bet. Ricky made one last try to learn how to swim. 
His family gathered around to watch. He saw his mom giving him a smile, saying, you can do this. He took a deep breath, went into the water, and moved his arms and legs as best he could. He was swimming. That shows a ton of grit. It shows grit because he set a goal for himself and overcame that goal, even though it was one of his worst fears. Even though it was only $2, he still wanted to win the bet. Richard even said that even though it was only $2, it felt like a fortune. That grit led to success because not only did he make his first couple of bucks, but he ended up paving the way for overcoming other challenges that would come to him. Another way Richard Branson showed grit was by not giving up. In the article, Journey of Richard Branson, with Failures and Success, it states, Branson's other business disasters include Virgin Cola, Virgin Cosmetics, and Virgin Brands. In addition to having to sell Virgin Records, Virgin Cola is the most popular failure. With only a 0.5% chance of market share in the U.S., in 2012, the firm was forced to continue making the drink. Then it later goes on to say, In 1984, Branson expanded his businesses by launching Virgin Atlantic, an airline. Virgin Atlantic competed against British Airways when it launched its first 747 flight from New York to Gatwick. Virgin Media, Virgin Money, and even Virgin Trains are all among his other major businesses. All of his businesses are part of the Virgin Group. The Virgin Group has branches in Australia, United States, and portions of Europe, South Africa, and Asia. If that's not grit, nothing is. He failed four companies that nobody bought from, and he still tried again. He failed, and he tried again. He learned from his mistakes. This grit led to success because he finally found a company that worked, and he became a self-made billionaire. If he never failed, then he probably never would have launched that airline, and he probably never would have been this successful. Ray Charles once said, Just because you can't see anything, doesn't mean you should shut your eyes. In this story, Going Blind, by Ray Charles, Ray Charles showed grit by persevering through the process of going blind. Ray Charles is an American blind singer. In the book, Ray loses his vision at the age of seven. He has to go away to a far boarding school in St. Augustine because his family and the school in his town can't help him. He said, the thought of getting on a big train and going far, far away leaving everything and everything I knew behind, that was enough to get me down and keep me down. But he didn't get kept down. That shows grit, because even though he didn't want to leave, he still had to. In the quote, he left for a good cause, and he didn't want to leave his mom or all his friends, but he still did it. He had to persevere through that challenge. And if he never left the school, he probably never would have found his love and passion for music, and he probably never would have become a famous artist. In the story from Ray Charles by Sharon Bell Mathis, Ray showed grit from getting up from his fall. After Ray Charles got to the school, they didn't exactly give him a warm welcome. They tied a rope to a stick and then told him that another person was holding the rope on the other end. He wanted to prove himself by showing them how fast he was and how strong he was. So he grabbed onto the rope and he raced the other kid to see who could get to the other side first. But it wasn't another kid holding the rope. It was an iron pole. Ray went smashing into the rope, I mean, into the pole. They tricked him. He tried hard not to cry. Not a tear fell from his eyes. They called him sissy boy and little baby, but he didn't respond. He fell to the ground, but he didn't want to look weak. He didn't cry, even though he wanted to. He didn't want to slow down. He wanted to keep running, and he didn't want others to see him fall. He didn't want to look weak. This grit led to him being a man. It showed him that not everybody would be a nice person and not everybody would treat you nice. Someone once stated, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. In the novel, A Night Divided by Jennifer A. Nielsen, Goethe showed grit by being selfless and risking her life to help others. A Night Divided is a story about a girl whose family is separated by the Berlin Wall. When Goethe decides to tunnel through the wall because of a message she got from her dad, her and her family get caught by the police. They make a deal that the policeman will help them, but if they get caught by another police, he won't. Then, the night that they escape to the other side, they get caught by the police. Goethe was about to get shot, and she heard the bullet, but it didn't hit her. 
because the policeman who helped her, Officer Mueller, jumped in front of the shop for her. Gerta said, it took all my courage to save Nathan. She dragged him out of the tunnel, even though that could have risked her life too. That shows that even though she could have lost her own life, she would rather do that than let somebody else die. She tried to save somebody else's life. Gerta could have just left Mueller behind and ran to the other side, but she didn't. Even though Mueller didn't make it, he still got out of the tunnel, and Gerta still felt accomplished. This grit led to a success because even though Mueller didn't make it, Gerta still got him to the other side, and he still got a fresh breath of West Berlin air. The last thing I want to say is grit influences success through perseverance, not giving up, and hard work. Gerta showed this by working her way to freedom and not giving up. Richard showed this by not letting his disability get the best of him and not being anything less than he could be. Ray showed this by not giving up. Grit isn't only shown by overcoming obstacles. It's shown by giving yourself goals and overcoming those. Angela Duckworth once said, Grit is living life like it's a marathon, not a sprint. Excellent work. Audience members in the learning commons are going to give feedback to Lincoln Oren. Good job, Oren. You take that one out. I'm going to put Oren's name on there. All right, let's give some feedback. Real quick, real quick. She's gonna freeze. Okay. members are going to be finishing up giving feedback. For those watching at home, we have our audience members give feedback and uh, constructive criticism uh, to all of our presenters. We have three speeches left, which is awesome. We have uh, Jackson, who will be set up in a moment. Audience members, once you're ready, you can show us you're ready by closing those Chromebooks up and putting them on the ground. And then we'll get set up and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Yes. Thank you for being a wonderful captive audience. Uh, Unsubmit it.
Yeah, it's got the green light. It's on. Okay. All right. We have our next presenter. All Chromebooks should be on the ground. All of our audience members continue their awesome work. And then, without further ado, let's give a big round of applause for Jackson. haven't been able to do something you really wanted to do because of your gender or disability. If any of you have, then you're probably using grit to overcome it. Grit is courage and pushing through challenges in difficult times. Grit is important because it allows you to overcome these struggles and challenges in life. Grit allows you to accomplish anything you put your mind to. Billie Jean King was a professional tennis player who had been considered one of the best in history. Billie Jean King was one of the first women to play in pro tennis. Even though so many people thought that wom women weren't as capable as men, in the mid to late 20th century, Billie Jean proved them all wrong. Also, the main character from The Running Dream, Jessica Carlisle, wasn't able to do her favorite thing in the world, running, because she lost a leg. Finally, Julian Edelman was doubted by his college teacher when he said he wanted to be an NFL player, but he kept pushing through. All three of these individuals have used grit in their lives. To begin, Julian Edelman was an NFL player for the New England Patriots. Edelman is a Super Bowl MVP and a three-time Super Bowl winner. When Edelman was in college, his English teacher asked the class what they wanted to do when they graduated college. Edelman said a pro football player. Now, to be realistic, a teacher wouldn't believe that a quarterback from a small college could make it to the professional ring. So she said, Julian, set realistic goals. Very few athletes make it to the professional ranks. Yes, this bothered him a lot because he wanted to do what he wanted to do. Julian kept pushing despite this doubt from his nice teacher. Julian Edelman used this as fuel to work harder, to prove others wrong, and to accomplish his dream. After college, Edelman became a star receiver, pairing with Tom Brady and winning three Super Bowls. In the words of Edelman, set your goals high, do whatever it takes to achieve them. To continue, Jessica Carlisle is the main character from the book The Running Dream. Jessica lives and breathes running. Once Jessica set a new league record for the 400 meter race with a whopping 55.64 seconds. Just hours later she was on her way home and someone hit the bus. Jessica's leg was severely injured so the doctors had to amputate it. This was heartbreaking for her because her favorite thing in the world was running. As you can probably imagine, Jessica needed to use so much grit to overcome this huge devastation. One way Jessica showed grit is when Jessica couldn't, Jessica couldn't walk without her crutches, but she wanted to take a shower upstairs. You can probably tell this is very difficult for someone with one leg to hop up 14 stairs. One hop, two hops, three. I rest, looking up at 11 more steps, then take a deep breath. This proves that Jessica didn't quit and grit made this happen. Jessica hadn't showered since the accident besides sponge baths. She really wanted to take a shower and didn't let anything stop her until she got up those huge, huge, hard, and incredibly annoying stairs. Jessica wanted to do it and didn't let anything stop her. Another time Jessica showed grit is when she was training to push her good friend, Rosa, in a wheelchair for a 10-mile race. Jessica got her running leg and she wanted to show Rosa the amazing feeling of running. Rosa can't run because she has cerebral palsy and she can't walk. Just to the end of the block, just to the stop sign, just to the next bend. My arms are tired of pushing the handles. I want to let go. I want to stop, but I press on. This shows that even though it was hard for Jessica to push a big sack of potting soil and run with a fake leg, she wanted to do this for her good friend. Jessica was using grit to push this heavy wheelchair on a new metal leg for 10 miles. The success of this grit was Jessica finishing her first race in eight months. Furthermore, Billie Jean King was one of the first women's tennis players to become a professional. Billie Jean is arguably the best tennis player of all time. She faced so many challenges and used grit an unbelievable amount of times. First is a 15-year-old, Perry T. Jones, who Billie Jean described as a fussy old bachelor who hated girls. 
refused for Billie Jean to sit in a group photo at the Southern California Junior Championships because she was wearing shorts and a blouse. This didn't stop her. If she would have stopped there, she wouldn't be the champion we now know today. That wasn't the only thing that happened to her, though. Later, after so much hard work and dedication, Billie Jean finally made it to the professional ranks. But right as she arrived, tennis great Maureen Colony said to Billie, you'll never make it, so don't bother. At this point, Billie Jean had heard so much doubt that it didn't bother her, and she kept pushing, kept going. Frank DeFord, a sports writer, said that Jean King was a chubby little thing with the hideous tacky glasses. Time Magazine said she was the chunky, bespectacled little Californian. And Sports Illustrated noted that Billy stands 5 feet 6 inches, has brown hair, light blue eyes, a small imperative nose, and a weight problem. The book states, still, Billy Jean played on. She had a dream, and she intended to make it come true. I have a dream, I have a dream, and I want to make it come true, is what Billy said. Later in life, in her own words, don't let anyone define you. You define yourself. Billie Jean received so much hate from the other tennis players and other people, but she wanted to stick to her dream of being a pro tennis player. One man said to Billie, you'll be good because you're ugly, Billie Jean. No doubt these barbs bothered Billie, but she didn't let them stop her. Billie Jean says that whenever she was hurt or angry, she channeled it to her tennis game and played harder, better, and stronger. Despite all this hate, she won 71 singles titles and 21 doubles titles, to go along with a record 20 Wimbledon titles and 39 Grand Slams. How did she do it? She was grit and kept going. She used all the challenges that she faced and turned them into strength. She didn't care who said what and who did what. She just had a dream. She just had a dream and did everything she could to accomplish it. If you ask me, she sure accomplished her goal of, of building a career in tennis. To sum it all up, grit leads you to pushing through challenges and not giving up. Billie Jean King used grit uh, when she pushed through all the mean things people said to her. And Jessica used grit when she lost her leg and found a way to get around it. Finally, Julian Edelman used grit when he was told he couldn't follow his dream by his college teacher. In the words of Billie Jean King and Julian Edelman, Set your goals high. Do whatever it takes to achieve them. Don't let anyone define who you are. You define yourself. Thank you. Fantastic stuff. All right, audience members, we're going to give some feedback for Jackson. All right. All right. Thank you. Would you get your props then too, buddy? somewhere on mute so you can talk into that. Mm -hmm. And then you just hold on to this power button and once it stays blue, that means you're on. So maybe wait. It'll look like hers. Oh yeah. 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 So and whenever, we'll have you do that yeah. once we're done. We've had two fantastic whenever. presentations so far. We have two fantastic more to go. Uh, audience members are giving feedback on a Google form that our presenters will be able to see. You look so, sharp. so far we've had some excellent speeches on grit of Julian Edelman, Billie Jean King, uh, we also had, you know, talk about different book characters, Ray Charles. And we have uh, a new one coming up here in a moment. It also goes without saying that to get up here and present in front of our peers and prevent, you know, present in front of this larger audience also takes a lot of grit in and of itself. So to acknowledge that is very important. Um, we're very proud of everybody that has presented today. And in just a moment, we will continue. So thank you all students for being such wonderful audience members. Again, thank you for those that are watching us live now and for those that are tuning in at a later time. 
All right, so we're going to close up our Chromebooks when we are done. We're going to put those down, show that we are done with our feedback. We're going to get Jarrett mic'd up. We'll unfreeze our screen here in a moment. And uh, without further ado, let's give a big round of applause for Jarrett. Grit. What is grit? Grit to me is persevering through the hardest challenges in life and not giving up when times are tough. In A Night Divided, Goethe shows grit when persevering through hard times in East Berlin. Ray Charles became blind at a young age and showed grit when overcoming his blindness in writing music. Michael Orr was born into poverty and showed grit when persevering through hard times and homelessness. To begin, Goethe shows grit when trying to save Officer Mueller. Goethe says that she wanted to keep running, but instead she had to save him because he saved her. This shows that Goethe showed grit even because even though she could have run, she decided to save him instead. To continue, Ray Charles shows grit when overcoming a life-changing event. Ray went blind at about the age of seven. Ray's mom made him do everything that someone would, with sight would do. Ray was still able to do normal things even though he couldn't see the world. This is important because even though Ray was faced with a life-changing problem, he persevered. Finally, Michael Orr shows grit when overcoming poverty. At an early age, Michael was constantly bouncing from place to place. He went from the ground up to being a football sensation. At an early age, he was dealt with a bad hand, but it didn't keep him from doing what he loved. The 2009 NFL Draft, Michael Moore. Grit is overcoming the greatest trials in life, pushing through hard times and being confident in who you are and what you do. Michael Orr once said, do what's best for you and do it to the best of your ability. Go after your goals like it's nobody's business. To me, I think grit means to not give up, to never back down, and to always get back up. Excellent. Oh, another great speech. So we'll give feedback to Jarrett, and then we will have one final presenter today. Uh, for those watching at home who maybe don't know, um, just like Jarrett gave their speech, uh, we have had students give speeches in Tier 1 and Tier 2. And so we've had every sixth grader who has given a speech. And this is our final one for Core 1 in a moment, which is really, really exciting. So we've had uh, fantastic speeches and fantastic audience members as well. Uh, showing grit, as Mrs. Ball mentioned, not by just giving research, but also by getting up in front of their peers, which can be very scary. So in a moment, we will have our final presenter. So we're going to finish our feedback up.
right, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Hannah. What big dream do you have that takes grit that might seem impossible to others will you regret not pursuing later? Grit is staying determined and persevering even if no one believes in you. According to Angela Duckworth, grit is sticking with your future day in, day out, not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years. With grit, you can persevere through challenges and come out of the challenger problem with a smile on your face, proud of what you overcame. Grit is commonly found in books and stories. This grit usually comes from the main characters and close friends or family around them. Grit is found in The Running Dream, where Jessica Carlyle had to learn how to walk and run again. Grit was also found in Ray Charles, who had to stay strong after he ran into a pole and show other kids that he was capable even though he was blind. Muhammad Ali also showed lots of grit in many things that he did, but one of his biggest examples of grit is when he won the gold medal in the Olympics. One way to show grit is by overcoming a disability. Jessica Carlyle in The Running Dream showed grit when she got her running leg and replayed her running dream for the first time since she lost her real leg. Jessica lost her leg in a bus accident and had to learn how to do everything over again. After four months of moving around on crutches, she finally got her fake leg and learned how to walk again. But the next step was running, but as soon as she could run, she couldn't go far. She was out of shape for not running for months, and when she finally was able to run far like she had before, she was proud. This is because she had been training for months to run like she had used to. We had come up on Agri Bridge, and I began the long sprint across it. My legs and lungs burn, but I welcome this pain. It forges me with strength, determination, triumph. Jessica had been through months of physical therapy and hard training. After all this, Jessica was finally able to run like she used to on the path that she always did. Even though this run was not easy for her, she powered through it and felt great afterwards. She knew that she had overcome a big obstacle in her life and that she had accomplished something great. Another way to show grit is having to live without a sense that you have used your whole life. In Ray's case, it was his sight, and Ray had to do everything a normal kid could do without his sight. Ray was blind, but then became successful through music. Ray Charles showed grit when he got tricked into running into an iron pole. Ray's mom sent Ray to a new school when he got blind. The school was for people who had disabilities like Ray's. But since he couldn't see, some of the bullies at his school had him run a race. But at the end of the race, there was a big iron pole. This is supposed to make Ray feel defeated and make him think that because he was blind, he was stupid. Then suddenly, pain smashed into him. Wham! They had tricked him. There was no child at the other end of the wire. They had tied it to an iron post. The hurt was too much. Ray started to cry. Tears tried hard to get past his eyelids, but Ray squeezed his eyelids tighter. This, this experience in Ray's life showed grit because it could have been a serious injury, but Ray stopped crying and got back up. He wanted to show the other kids that just because his sight, uh, he lost his sight, that didn't mean he was stupid. Another way to show grit is by fighting and succeeding to get something that you want. Muhammad Ali wanted to win the gold medal in the Olympics so he could fight professionally. So Muhammad showed grit by overcoming a challenge to get what he wanted and deserved. Muhammad Ali showed grit when he won the gold medal in the Olympics. At the time, Muhammad Ali was an amateur boxer trying to go pro. So his trainers told him to fight in the Olympics to get recognition from the professionals. But when Muhammad was fighting, he was getting hit left and right, and he knew that if he wanted to win, he would need to land more punches. So he fought through the pain, showed grit, and ended up winning the gold medal. Now it had come true. He had trained hard for his medal, and he wore it everywhere for two days, even sleeping with his gold medal around his neck. Muhammad Ali showed grit while in the ring because he came back at the end of the championship fight. He was getting pounded in the first round, but then in the second and third rounds, Muhammad knew that if he wanted to win, he would need to add more points to his name. Muhammad Ali came back in the middle of the fight and ended up winning the gold medal. You can tell that he showed grit because afterwards he wore his medal everywhere. This showed that he was proud of his grit and his great accomplishment. In conclusion, when you have grit, you can persevere through challenges and turn a weakness into a strength by becoming successful in that area. Jessica, Ray Charles, and Muhammad Ali all showed grit by overcoming challenges specific to them. 
In a way, they're all very similar. Jessica and Ray Charles show grit because their lives depended on it, while Muhammad Ali chose to show grit to become the greatest. But the important part of this in all of these speeches is how you can show grit and overcome your challenges, just like the people in this presentation have done. So, how can you show grit and prove to others that you are capable and resilient? Thank you. One, two, three. And let's give feedback to our presenter, Hannah. All right. Nice work. And that, ladies and gentlemen, online is our Tier 3 Showcase. So let's give one final big round of applause for all our presenters, everybody. Nice work. And uh, we will give our feedback. Um, but right now we're going to say goodbye. Goodbye. No, I need to. I got you, Jace.